Okay, let's show the strip assembly again. And let's mount these two form punches. So again, we'll make derived punches automatically. No punch retainer. We would obviously put one in later, but for the sake of this demonstration, we're not. Only got to so much time to show a whole bunch of stuff, so we're not being too fancy. And let's put some socket head cap screws in there. And again, see how we zoom normal to automatically? You don't, people don't realize how much time that saves. And you don't have to go reaching for some edges to dimension to because again, we do all of that automatically. Let's offset this one so we can't turn it around. The little things save a ton of time. I hope you agree as you watch this that it saves a lot of time. There we go. Let's see next. What do we have to do in here yet? Okay, let's say we did a design review and somebody pointed out maybe this is a new designer that we need bigger bolts in there. So all we have to do is pick one of them. It doesn't have to be the seed component. And then we want to counterbore them deeper yet too because watch the length automatically update because we need to sharpen this. And the tool makers, I know I did, hate those holes full of oil, so why not just drill them through when we're that close anyway. We see errors in the tree, but uh, that's just because we're in the middle of this. But when we finish, when we finish putting them in, we'll add two more here. So we've got a total of six of them instead of just the four. But the errors clean themselves up when the command finishes. Those won't be there in a moment. Okay, we've made our bolts bigger. See how we counterboard the head of the dowels automatically? And we can, let's make these half inch. We can change the settings so those don't get counterboard or, you know, we look at the dowel in relation to the thickness of the plate. Change those to half inch. And the other thing that's very cool is those already have notes in them, if you will. So when they get hole charted, they're going to say press fit for dowel or slip fit for dowel. They'll be the right size. You can easily customize the size to put in exactly what your company wants. Also in the, and again, we can choose any component here. doesn't have to be a seed component, but in the design review we found that we want demountable pins. So we'll switch to a Danley Type 2. And select straight sleeve. We just want the pins to be demountable. And change to four and a quarter, what we had originally, and OK. And 
the position of them was okay so it puts us back into sketch mode but now we're cutting the you'll see the numbers flashing over there on the right as we cut in the tap tolls for the clamps so really really cool for changing pins and bushings to friction to ball bearing or the other way around whatever kind of demountable press fit whatever change the diameter we cut the holes you never have to pull out a catalog it's great pretty quick and we'll save there we are and I think we'll pick up in the next video